what is going on today guys we are back in another episode of seven days to die and we have a list of stuff to get done today we need to make a workbench a forge cement mixer and either the bike or the mini bike i'm not sure it's going to depend on what we get for resources and what we need to make the mini bike but we might just skip the bicycle and go right to the mini bike let's get into it so to start with we can't make the cement mixer yet. I need to get the forge running to make some more forged iron for that. But we can definitely get our workbench going right away here. And we can get ourselves the forge going as well. Oh yeah, I need to grab leather. There we go. And go in here. Get that crafting up. Now these two are going to enable us to do a lot of stuff. The forge, we really need bad for the for the extra iron. And yeah, I didn't do a ton more on the base yet. I was working on getting some more stone for making the rest of the flagstone blocks and doing all the upgrades. And I've started on some bars. And then I also got some iron and wood ready for more spikes. But now we do need to make more cobblestone. Probably another. Um, let's just go with 500 for now. We can always make more if we need to. But there's quite a bit we got to get done yet on our base. And our mushrooms as well as the pumpkin finished growing. So I harvested them quick. We do need to start making more food plots quick. We also got an airdrop. While I was uh, while I was working on some of this stuff off camera, so I figured that's another thing we can add to the stuff we can get to do today. So why don't we go grab the airdrop quick while the workbench and the forge are crafting up? Hopefully we can get lucky and get something good in there. But yeah, there's a ton of stuff to do for our horde base. Now we will have it all upgraded and ready to go well before horde night. But I wanted that jump start on it because I wanted the XP. All oh, the XP from building is unbelievably great. So, yeah. That's another reason why we need that cement mixer up and going as soon as possible. Because, yes, lots of XP when upgrading with cement. And got to stop and grab all these eggs. I've been running low on food. We only got a couple bacon and eggs left on us. And until we can start being self-sufficient with our, our farm plots, we're going to be relying on a lot of bacon and eggs as well as the canned food. So give that guy a quick kill and let's get on up here. Not sure exactly how far away it is. should be right up here, not too far. We can go ahead and grab this up quick. And, ooh, we got a treasure map. And that is somewhere up that way to the northeast. Actually, take a look here quick. That is, okay, that's out there in the snow biome. That's a shame. Switch back to these. Now, I have been, uh... I do want to start using the nerdy glasses a bit more again because that XP bonus, it's not a ton, but I think it's enough to make it worthwhile. So I mean, you kind of got to kind of got to use what you can when you're hurting. Well, we're really not hurting. We're doing really well as far as level wise, but I just I want to level quicker. I just want to I do, I do. Now, I also took the time off camera to go ahead and scrap up a bunch of cars. We got a little bit of gas here. I used up quite a bit already. Just kind of smashing up all the rocks and stuff. Well, where the hell is this airdrop? This is way the hell down here. This is a lot further than I thought it was going to be. 
If I'd have known it was this far, I probably would have just ran it off camera and not looted, but... Good lord. I thought it looked a lot closer. When it was dropping in, it did not look like it was this far. Hmm. Oh well, I guess. How far down here is it? My goodness, what the hell is this? Building materials in the back of a semi? Hmm. Interesting. We'll have to remember that. And Ooh. God, I love this steel spear. Man, this steel spear is just an absolute unit of a thing. I love it. Um, let's throw these on to grab some gas quick. Yeah, shit, we could have put down our forge and our workbench already. My goodness, where is this? Whoops. Holy shit. How the hell were we even able to see that from our base? Well, I guess we're almost here. Otherwise, I'd just pause the video and... they screw it and run to it first, but... It's only like right up here now. Oh, I can't can't believe I missed that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. On the agenda today, it's not gonna. I don't think we're gonna get to any looting today. Um, I think for the most part. Well, it's gonna. De it's gonna depend. The video is gonna be split. I am gonna pause it after we get like the forge and stuff made, so I can start cranking out the iron, and then we can get to the. Get started on the cement mixer and all that sort of good stuff. So, all right, what do we get here? Hey, I can finally get rid of that. It's about time. God, uh, that that primitive bowl was just, just I don't know even how to put it. It was just giving me nightmares that we still had it yet. But anyway, guys, I'll run back off camera here quick, so you guys don't have to sit through this mile-long journey. And then we'll get to placing down our new benches. Alright guys, after about an eternity of running later, we finally made it back. So, we can now get, where is it? The workbench and the forge. And we can get these dropped down. So, workbench, forge. Now I do have some stuff to put in the forge already. We just need the bellows, but... Oh, where'd you go here? There you are. All right. So, I do got a little bit of iron. Not a whole lot, but it'll work for now. Um, so, you know what? Let's put this whole stack in there. Put that in there. And let's put about 400 wood. Just stick it in there. I like to leave my extra wood in there. So, then when I need it, I can just flip it on and away we go. So, that's going to be going now. Um, let's see. I want to check on the mini bike. We should have everything we need to make it. Minus the forged iron. Ooh, and, and the duct tape. Probably have to make up some more glue, but that's alright. It's alright, guys. We got that going. We got this going. Um, I forgot what else we were going to do. Mini bike, cement mixer, got the airdrop. Um, I guess I'll be back to you guys after the forge makes us some forged iron, because I think that's all we're waiting on now. Forged iron and a level up. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, we're back. It's a little bit after dark. Um, I just let it go for a while and get get myself a bunch and I made some food up I made the glue and some duct tape up now 
and I've been working on the base quite a bit. Started putting up the bars and my big center pillar. So anyway, without further ado, let's get to the cement mixer. All right, as you can see, we got plenty of iron now, and we got everything we need on us. Let's go ahead and get that thing started. Now, while that's going, whoops. We can actually come into Grease Monkey here and get ourselves going on the mini bike. Now, I already made up the wheels for it. But if you come into here, you can see, well, obviously we'll have to do this on the workbench. But, oh, and I keep forgetting to grab leather. That's what I need. But I got everything else out we need for it, minus the leather. I always forget something, so, you know. You guys know me. But all right, we can get this going and get the handlebars going as well. So this will take about four, four and a half minutes. So while that's going, um, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah. Um, no, nah, that's right. On my way back from collecting that airdrop, I found this iron node. This is where we're going to build our our actual main base, not our horde base like over here, but this is going to be our actual main base. It's going to be right on top of that node. Now, it is going to be one hell of a project getting that ready. I'm going to be digging an underground tunnel over to it as well because I figure why not go with the underground tunnel theme for this, for this run through. So... Yeah, it's all the way over on the other side of that hill. So that means that's going to be a lot of digging. Plus, before Horde Night kicks off, in a couple days, we need to make our underground tunnel all the way over to here. So, lots of digging. Thank God we have the auger. Oh my God, if we didn't have the auger, there is no way, absolutely none, that we'd, that we'd be doing that. Absolutely none. But... Drop off a little bit of this stuff now. Actually, I do need more wood because I'm going to make up some more barbed wire. And apparently there's a little bit of lead under there. There's no actual surface node for it, but there's a little bit of lead. So, um, whoops, let's check out the farm plots here. Whoops. And... Yeah, I think we could make up a couple more of them quick while we're waiting for that stuff. Depends on how much rotten flesh we got. Yeah, we got plenty. We're not going to have nearly enough nitrate to do too many of them, but we can... Yeah, just three for now. I'll have to... I definitely got to do a lot of mining and stuff here pretty soon. Uh, especially iron now, because, yeah... We're going to suck through the iron with that pretty damn quick. Pretty damn quick for sure. So let's take a look at the status of this stuff. Five more seconds and we're going to drop this baby down and get him going. All right. Now we're going to throw him right here, right next to the workbench. Normally I put him the other way around, but oh well, you know. Um, do we have... We do only have a little bit of sand. We're going to take all that that we can. Drop this clay back off here. Whoops. Don't forget the cement. Yeah, we're going to get started on that. Again, I know I got a lot of mining to do to get that stuff ready. So, yeah. It's going to be going to be a bit of a task. And as you guys know, I will be doing it off camera. I will not make you guys sit through watching me do all that digging. Drop these down. Quick. Grab the mushrooms. Drop him down. So, all right. Speaking of the living off the land and farming aspect of this, let's take a look in the fortitude tree. Now we are going to start specking into this because I think we're, we're pretty good on intellect. The only other thing that we are going to need is this and that's the chemistry station now can we make gas cans no okay so we're going to need 
two points into yay science. Damn it. Okay, so we're in, we need three skill points to be able to make gas. We are going to have to make gas pretty soonish with the mini bike, but that's not going to be a huge deal. Um, three levels for that is no biggie. We never searched this bag, really. Hmm. Interesting. I honestly would would not have guessed that. To be honest, never would have guessed that. But yeah, so three more points to get us into intellect for our mini bike now. That's the only bad part about the mini bike versus the bicycle is you need gas. So the, otherwise the mini bike is a hundred percent better in my opinion. But all right, we got that. Let's click here. And what are we missing? Engine and battery. Oh, I thought I'd grab that. Okay, I know I have a battery somewhere. Is it not in here? Oh. Well, that's interesting. I know I have a battery. Okay, well, that's going to be a little problem. Let me figure that out quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, we're back. Um, the only thing I can think of with the battery is we must have we must have left it in a drop chest and forgot to grab it. So I'm going to go get the battery. I think I know where it is now that I have a minute to think. I think I know where it is. Um, like I said, I just took a quick minute to think after I looked. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I know where it is so I'm gonna run grab that quick and then we'll be back to finish up the mini bike and then we'll get over to our base and check out a little bit more building on that all right guys just got back um, the battery was nowhere to be found so I'm assuming I was just wrong and we didn't find one but anyway I wrenched down it was actually the first car that I wrenched down, and we actually got one. So we got our mini bike now. Now, the mini bike means a lot of things. First and most importantly, it means we get to go out and do loot runs further out, and we're going to be able to haul back a lot of stuff without having to worry about this little bit of over-encumbrance and all sorts of stuff like that. So it is going to come in super clutch for us there. Now... Um, I did grab a little bit of stuff from from the chest as I was going, and but yeah, it was in none of the chests. Uh, I I have no idea. I must have been just mistaken that we found one, but I guess it is what it is. So get this thing finished up. A couple more seconds. We do not have a lot of gas. That's the only problem. We have that is literally all the gas we have. So now, what does that mean? That means we got to make a run down to the desert for oil shale. And now I will, we'll probably just turn that into a looting run down there to loot up some some building. But the mining of the actual oil shale, I will do off camera because again. I'm not going to make you guys sit through and watch that, but here we are. There is the mini bike. Now, the mini bike takes a lot of gas. It takes a thousand to fill it up, as you can see, and it does go through it pretty quick. Then also, we have storage here. That's a lot of nice storage. A lot. That's 27 storage spaces for us. Absolutely fantastic. So, all right, guys, I'm going to pause the video again, and we will return after it's daylight so we can take a look at building a little bit more, and then we'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm cutting in a little bit before daylight because I wanted to show you guys this. Um, apparently now I'm getting scrap iron. This actual iron scrap instead of the, the raw iron. We're mining down here with both the auger 
and the pickaxe, so I'm not sure if that's some sort of bug or what that is, but I mean, I guess I'll take it. We're in our little iron mine. It's just right next to right next to the place here, but I don't know. I find that a little bit odd. I just wanted to cut in and show you guys that quick, but I'll be back again after daylight. Alright guys, it's daylight now and I'm just slapping down some wood bars now. I'm not sure what to make of getting the scrap iron like that from the iron node. That's a first for me. I've never ever had that happen, so I don't know what's the deal with that. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit disappointing. That raw iron pretty sure smelts down into a lot more than I'll get out of that scrap for that so kind of disappointed but we got a bit of that scrap iron going in our in our forge now just to keep keep our forge cranking out the stuff for us oh, I do need to harvest up a bunch of sand and some more stone so we can get going on some more concrete mix uh, and then this tunnel this tunnel has got to get done pretty soon so I can seal this the rest of the way up this is gonna take a lot a lot of cement mix to, to build up but otherwise this is looking pretty damn good so far I gotta say that it's I think this is going really well so far um, another reason I wanted the forge was, I know it's not necessary, but I want to upgrade all these bars to iron. I think the iron bars look really good, and I don't know, for the XP you get from upgrading, why not, you know? It's, it's really nice. I almost should have brought some of that cement over now and just, and just done that up, but we're going to leave two spots open here for our door and other than that the rest of this can get sealed up like that and then I will be digging down as you can see I've already dug to to the depth now I gotta dig over and then link it up over there well I might just, I might go straight over and just have it wherever it comes out I'm not sure and then just continue it along over to where we're going to actually put our main base. But yeah, this looks pretty damn good so far. Let's actually get out of here and get a little bit of an aerial view going on here. Let me swap these around. I know I still got to put my barbed wire down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just not make any spikes. And just go with barbed wire. Now I did make a little one deep trench around the thing. I don't know why. But I just feel. Feel it works alright. So you know. And I got a lot of cleaning up to do. All these boulders that are left. Have got to come out of there before horde night. Um, but otherwise this looks. It looks pretty good. We need our hatch. We need our door. And yeah. We need a big tunnel now the problem with the tunnel is is anything gonna tunnel down before horde night that's gonna be the only issue now I don't think anything will but if they do I'll have to figure out a way to seal that up better and I see there's a bunch of friends over there just a couple but nothing nothing spectacular pretty soon though Screamers are going to start coming. We do have our forge going. And we will have a chemistry station soon. Now, like I said for the chem station, we need to get to intellect level 5. So we need three levels up. We're pretty close to our next one. So I'm fairly confident that we should be able to get that done well before horde night at least 
Well, yeah, I, I don't see why that would be a problem well before Horde Night. Because I think in the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to go loot the big farm over there. Somewhere over there. I'm not exactly sure. Um, it's right down here is the big farm. Now the reason for that is it's got a lot of building materials. And it's got... Well, you guys will see. It's another place that has a little special surprise. It's not it's not hard to handle, but it's just a little surprise. So, yeah, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I got a lot to do off camera. Uh, yeah, sand and rocks are going to be a big thing that I'm going to be working on. And, yeah. We'll see what we can what we can get accomplished before Horde Night. Like I said, we're making cement now, so that's going to be huge. We need more iron, upgrade to iron bars. Got a place down the barbed wire, so a little bit left to do, but we are getting there slowly but surely. So thank you guys so much for being here. If you guys are enjoying this playthrough, let me know in the comment section down below, and let me know by smashing that like button. And as always, remember to subscribe to the channel. It'll help you guys know when I post my videos, and I do post them regularly. So, again, thank you guys so much for being here, and we will catch you next time.